Howdy dark friends, back for part two of the uh, STC remote tuner install. And for the most part, the outside stuff is pretty much finished. So when I bolted down the box to, or attached the box to the tree, uh, it misshapened it just slightly so the uh, little clicky handles there on the side wouldn't click, which is no big deal. Just uh, used a rope to tie around and keep it close. But uh, I got about 90 feet of wire. You, uh, you should be able to see the little insulator right there and the wire going up in the tree that's 90 feet of eight gauge. And then uh, about 500 feet of ground radial. Kind of kept them all spread out here. And uh, I don't know, they're not very well spread out going down here, but once they get down towards the bottom of the tree, I've got uh, two of them that weave in and out, uh, one really low off to the right, one kind of towards the center, and then uh, uh, and two of them that are kind of just woven through the branches and then uh, tied off to itself around a tree with lots of extra uh, space for it to uh, move. And then uh, a couple, two more of them go down through the bushes. One goes almost all the way to street level and the other one follows the higher path and goes all the way to the, uh, let's see, that'd be the north side of my property there. So, north side, west, mostly vertical, a little bit to the right, I guess, not too bad, and then a uh, whole bunch to the south. We had to change quite a few things, so this is what it ended up being. Now we just gotta go inside and uh, finish hooking up the bias T, which is what's gonna pump the power out here. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, start tuning up and finding out what it'll do. That'll be part three. And it's almost 4th of July, bang. Adios, 87QT.